Hi students, today in this video we are going to discuss about present continuous tense. In the previous volumes we have discussed about simple present tense, the usage of simple present tense, time adverbs, helping verbs and main verbs. And in this video we are also going to discuss the time adverbs of present continuous tense. After that we will discuss helping verbs and main verbs which are used in present continuous tense. All these things are very important and it is very common thing that while we are learning any tense in that condition we have to focus on three segments. First segment is time adverbs. If we know about time adverbs in that condition we can identify the tense easily. And the second thing is helping verbs. If we know helping verbs it means we know half answer of that question and the most important thing is manual. So all these things are required to learn while we are learning tense. First of all we have to focus on time adverbs. Okay, time adverbs help us to identify the tense. We come to know about tense after identifying the time adverbs in the given sentence. After that, as an answer, we have to write helping verb plus main verb and it becomes our answer. So, this is also very important. While we are writing answer, we have to use helping verb plus main verb in present continuous tense. So, I am going to teach you the time adverbs, helping verbs and main verbs which are used in present continuous tense. Time adverbs. There is a short trick which can identify or which can be used to identify time adverbs. Trick is send and L. Okay? Send L. As for still. As for still. This is very common time adverb which is used in present continuous tense. A4 at this time. At this time, at this moment, and at present. Okay, the three time adverbs which can be start, which can be started from a at a for at this time, at this moment, and at present. As for still and for now and now it is now a day. This is also very common time adverb from which the questions are frequently asked in the examination. And for now and now it is D denotes days. Okay, so in this way we can write these days or in these days. Okay, and L4, L4 look and listen. Though these are not time adverbs, these are main verbs. Okay, these are not time adverbs. Look and listen are main verbs. If in SMB sentence look or listen is used, it is quite clear that after the given sentence means after this sentence, that is imperative sentence. After that we have to use present continuous tense as an answer. So first of all we have to learn the time adverbs. The trick must be in your mind while, while you are writing the time adverbs. And there is only one thing which you can do while learning time adverbs. Though it is very simple to learn time adverbs. I have given all the time adverbs in a tricky way. And all the tricks will be very beneficial to learn time adverbs of any tense or every tense. Send as for still, as for still. And a4, a4 at this time, at this moment and at present. This is a complete series which start with 8. Next, and for now and now it is, there are two words which start with now. It 
the starting letter of this one is N. So in this tricky way we can learn it easily. D denotes days. Okay, D for days. So these days and in these days and L denotes look and listen. There are two main verbs which are used in present continuous tense. And if these verbs are used, after that we have to use present continuous tense. In this way, we can learn all the time adverbs or main verbs. Look and listen in a tricky way. As for still, just keep this thing in your mind. Just keep this trick in your mind. Send L. As for still, A for at this time, at this moment, at present. After that, S A N N for now and now at days. D denotes days. These days and in these days, L for look and listen. So in this way, you can learn all these things easily. Just keep on writing these things 10 or 20 times and just keep on revising all these things. In this way, we can learn time adverbs. The best way to learn all time adverbs of tenses is that we must write all the tricks which are going to be taught, which are going to be taught to you. And all these things, all these short forms must be written in a page and this page should be pasted pasted on the wall near which you sleep. Means it should be pasted on your study table. It can be put near your bed where you sleep at night. At that time you just keep on revising all these things without being disturbed from your study. All these things can be learned in an easy way. Okay, this is up to you whether you have to learn in this way or you have to create your own way to learn all these things. But this is very necessary. You have to learn all these time adverbs because without learning time adverbs, we just cannot write answer of any sentence which is related to tense. So first thing was time adverb. Next thing is main helping verbs and main verbs. Helping verbs of present continuous tense. There are three helping verbs which are used in present continuous tense is am and are. It is used with similar subjects. With similar subjects and similar subjects we include he see it and similar noun similar noun means noun which denotes only a single person place or thing and is used with i with only i word and r is used with plural subjects r is used with plural subjects in plural subjects, we include we, you, they, and plural nouns. Plural noun means nouns which denote more than one person, place, animal, or things. So there are three helping verbs which are used in present continuous tense. First one is is. It is used with similar subjects. Similar means one. Okay. Similar means one. If there is only one person, animal or thing or any other other article, for that we have to use is. For example, in pronouns we use in similar form he, she, it, and any noun which denotes only one number. After that we have to use is. Okay. And M is always used with I pronoun. So if there is I in the given sentence, we have to use M as a helping verb. Next one is R. R is used with plural subjects. If there is V, U, they and any plural noun, after that we have to use R main verb. Okay. So these are the helping verbs which we have to learn. First helping verb is is, second one is M and third one is are. So there are three helping verbs which are used in present continuous tense. Is is used with similar subjects and is used with only I and are is used with plural subjects. You have to learn all these things 
and the next thing is first thing is time adopts and I have given one trick to you to learn all these time adopts there is send L okay and second thing is helping mark helping marks are three which are is M and R and third thing is main verb main verb Main verb is the ing form of main verb and ing form of main verb is known as present participle. Well, the participles have two forms. So two functions it can be used as a main verb and it can be used as an adjective. Here we are discussing only about main verb. Okay. So in present continuous tense we use the ing form of main verb. So this is the way or these are the things essential things which we must learn to write the answer of any tense so, so first thing is time adverb how to summarize all these things first thing is time adverbs second thing is helping verbs and third thing is main verb okay this is the present continuous tense only if you learn all these three things time adverbs, helping verbs and main verbs we can learn present continuous tense and I am quite sure that if you have learned all these things after that your answers are going to be correct because there would be no chance to any question this can be left out without answering by you and I have given one time trick to learn all time adverbs and the trick is send L as for still for at this time at this moment at present and for now and nowadays day denotes D denotes days means these days and in these days and L for look and listen if we learn all time adverbs in this way we can learn it okay next thing is helping verbs helping verbs are three is am and are okay is is used with similar subjects M is used by with I and R is used with plural subject this is only summarization of all these things and main verb, main verb which is used in present continuous or any continuous tense is only ing form of main verb so in all continuous tenses we use only ing form of main verb whether it is present continuous, past continuous or future continuous we have to use only ing form of main verb and we use ing form of main verb in all the perfect continuous tenses like present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous. In all these tenses we use ing form of main verb and the helping verbs which are used in present continuous are is, am and are. Time adverbs which are used in present continuous tense the trick is send l and as for still at for at this time at this moment at present and for now and nowadays d for these days and in these days and n for look and listen if you learn all these things you can write answer which is related to present continuous tense so students it is quite obvious that while we are learning any tense for learning that we have to focus on three segments or aspects of tense learning first one time adverb second one helping verb and third one main verb now we are going to discuss some examples see in the question he blank go to play now first of all identify time adverb this is the way or process which we have to follow while writing the answer of any tense first of all we have to identify tense sorry time adverb time adverb is now and now is used in present continuous tense so this is quite obvious that now is always used in present continuous tense after identifying time adverb first of all we have to identify time adverb after that we use helping verb and after using helping verb we have to put main verb okay so time adverb is now present continuous tense it means time adverbs give us the idea of tense and here the time adverb 
is now and it is used in present continuous tense. In present continuous tense, we use is, am, or are helping us. Is is used with singular subject, am is used with I, and are is used with plural subject. Now look at the subject. Subject is he, and he is considered, or he is singular subject, and with singular subjects, we use is. So the answer is. And main verb, which main verb is used in present continuous tense? That is ing form of main verb. So the ing form of main go is going. In this way, we can write the answer. So the answer of this question is is going. Now look at the second example. Look the man blank run behind the bus. Okay, behind means pitch. Here the man verb which has been used is look. And we know that in S A N D L this is a trick to learn time adverbs and man verb of present continuous. Here L represents look and listen. If there is look or listen in that condition in the given space after that we use present continuous tense okay so there is no any time at all but look gives the sense of present continuous tense so we have to write answer in present continuous tense here the main is similar and with similar subjects we use is helping verb there are three helping verbs which are used is am and are and main verb which main verb is used in present continuous tense and form of main verb. It is used with singular. I am with I and R with it, plural. So main is similar. With similar we use is and I the form of run is running. R U double N I N Z running. So the answer of this question is running. Is running. These are the examples of affirmative sentences. Now we are discussing some examples of negative sentences. Negative sentences. For example, in negative sentences we have to include only not. Nothing else but that. This is very simple. See here. The women at this time. Okay, the women blank sound at the children at this time. And the pronunciation of this word is women. Okay, this one is plural. Generally, we pronounce it wrongly like women. So this is not women. Okay, this is only women. And the singular of this word is W O M A N. And the pronunciation of this word is woman. So the singular is woman and the plural is women. This one is plural. The women blank out at the children at this time. First of all, try to identify time ago. What is the first step to write the answer of any sentence? Identify time ago. Second thing, helping verb. And third thing is main verb. Only these three steps are used while writing the answer of any question which is related to tense. Okay? So the time ago which has been used here is at this time. And at this time is used in present continuous tense so first stage gives the answer of tense that is present continuous after that we have to look at helping verbs and which helping verbs are used in present continuous tense this is a very 
सिंपल इज एम एंड आर इज इज यूज विद सिमिलर सब्जेक्ट एम इज यूज विद आई एंड आर इज यूज विद प्लूरल सब्जेक्ट नेक्स्ट थिंग मेन वर्ब इज आइन जी फॉर्म ऑफ मेन वर्ब यर लुक एट दब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट इज द वीमेन एंड द वीमेन इज प्लूरल ओके विद प्लूरल वी यूज आर हेल्पिंग वर्ब आर सॉरी हियर वी हैव टू पुट नोट ऑल्सो सो दैट वी कैन मेक इट नेगेटिव नोट साउट ओके आर दिस वन इज नेगेटिव आफ्टर हेल्पिंग वर्ब वी यूज नोट एंड मेन वर्ब ऑफ आई एन जी फॉर्म इज साउटिंग इन दिस वे वी कैन राइट द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द वे टू राइट द आंसर ऑफ एनी क्वेश्चन विच इज रिलेटेड टू टेंस इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्रजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस In the next video, we will discuss about more examples of present continuous tense. We will also discuss the negative, interrogative, and affirmative sentences and the usage of present continuous tense. Thanks for watching this video.